हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू एवरग्रीन ई लर्निंग एप्लीकेशन सो टूडेज टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज इलेक्ट्रॉनिक स्प्रेडशीट्स एंड वी मस्ट टेल यू दैट यू हैव अ वेरी गुड ऑप्शन कॉल्ड एज ओपन ऑफिस सो यू कैन ऑलवेज गो टू ओपन ऑफिस डॉट ओ आर जी स्लैश डाउनलोड टू डाउनलोड द सॉफ्टवेयर दिस इज हाउ द सॉफ्टवेयर लुक्स लाइक सो दे आर गिविंग यू ऑल द इसेंशियल सॉफ्टवेयर दैट आर रिक्वायर्ड फॉर वर्ड प्रोसेसिंग लाइक यू यूज एम एस वर्ड सो देर इज अ a text editor called as open office writer and uh, for ms excel there is always uh, an option called as open office calci and for powerpoint presentations instead of using ms powerpoint you can always use open office impress but today we will talk about spreadsheets only so let's start so this is the default screen for spreadsheets as you can see there are three sheets available here sheet number 1 2 and 3 and this uh, spreadsheet can be used to collect data and organize the data and format the data accordingly so let's say our event is student registration details and you want to have some students registered for that so first column will be serial number then name roll number class event and fee for that event so let's say this is the table and uh, you want to enter data to it so let us enter some names so let's say let's enter some roll numbers so let's add some classes let's say 6 that you are going to host is a quiz competition and paper presentation so let's say this student is going for both the uh, events and fees per event is 50 rupees so this will be paying rupees 100 and uh, let's say second student is going for paper presentation only for that she will be paying 50 rupees so this is the set of data that you have collected and uh, as you have seen here the paper presentation was giving you an auto fill option so when you type something this uh, software remembers that no need to re-enter and you can always use that previous option so you can always type serial numbers serial number 1 2 no need to type each and everything just select it and drag it so as you can see here is a very useful feature here so now you can see you are having the data you are having the record but it is not formatted properly so now what you can do is you can always set a good title so how you can do it just select this uh, six columns a b c d e and f and now what you can do you can uh, go to this merge cell option here just click on it and you can see this whole six cells are combined into one and now you can choose align center horizontally option by pressing control e also so now you can see it is coming in the center and now you can press bold also so you are just giving it a bold option and same thing you can do with this data you can just highlight it and go to align center horizontally in which now your data is being aligned in that manner and now what you can do is you can see there are some red signs coming here which means that your uh, cell is not adjusting the data so you can always drag this still not coming or you can just tap it twice so it will be fitting into the cell you can always uh, have a heading option so you can bold it press bold and it will be showing like this and you can have a table border so borders are very important so you can select a border all borders so you can see the border is being highlighted now what are the other things you can do like in fee option this is only number so what you can do is you can change this format 
So go to format cells and choose currency. So in the currency option, we can choose INRs, rupees, English, India. This option is selected and you can go for this one. Press OK and you can see rupees is prefixed with the value. Now further going on, you can always add this value which can be called as a total value or total collection you can say and you can always calculate a value by adding all the respective fees paid by the students and how you can do it it's very simple go to the cell put a operator called as equal to and what you can do is you can say select the cell f3 plus f4 plus f5 plus f6 plus f7 so this is the formula just press enter and you will get your sum this is one way of doing it you can always check it by pressing it twice it will give you the formula this is one formula you can always have another formula equals to sum start from f3 to f7 so now just put a bracket here and press enter again you will get the sum so this is the data collected for uh, a particular quiz and now you can give it a complete border also I suppose you want to set the border out you can again go to format cells and now you can go to borders choose the thickness and let's say set outer border only this is very important set outer border only and you are going for 2.5 value set ok and you will be having this nice looking uh, outside border let's continue with other uh, concepts such as conditional formatting and the concept of uh, relative and absolute addressing for that let's choose another sheet and let's have some other data so let's say I'm having this data uh, this is a student result you have compiled let's change some values here okay and uh, now you want to process this data so you can do all the things yourself now by giving it uh, a central line and uh, selecting the data and putting a central line here again the same things you can repeat and what is important here is conditional formatting so how to highlight data in your uh, excel sheet that uh, your data is uh, being highlighted on some note now let's suppose you want to highlight the students having 90 or 90 plus marks and you want to highlight the students which are having less marks than 50 so you can always choose conditional formatting so how to do that select the respective uh, cells and go to format and conditional formatting now there is a mark that you want to set certain conditions so I will set two conditions condition 1 and condition 2 my first condition is that cell value should be greater than equal to 90 so if the cell value is greater than equal to 90 what style I want I want cell style to be I'll just change its background to green color so I'll set ok now my condition 2 says that cell value should be less than or equal to 50 so what I can do is I'll choose my cell style background to red so this is red ok so I can say ok here and you can see as a result you are getting your conditional formatting where all the data which is 90 and 90 plus is marked as green and all the data which is less than 50 is marked as red let's talk about relative and absolute addressing so in this scenario let's consider an example that uh, you want to have a grace option now let's say certain students are involved in some sports activities or other activities and uh, all the students are being given uh, some type of grace so let's say grace marks are 3 only and you want to add this grace to final marks so let's say some final marks option and now what you can do you can always have a formula equals to d3 plus f3 and now you can see 90 plus 3 is 93 but when you will drag this and apply this formula to all the other cells so there the marks are not being added as you can see the grace is not added to Sitej or Priyanka or Aman now what you can do now this is called as relative addressing now you can check that how this formula is being computed so you can see d4 plus f4 d4 is 60 but f4 is nothing f4 has no value so that is why the value is not being added so now what you can do you can fix this how let's see let's undo this thing 
and now put the formula equals to d3 plus f3 and put a dollar sign with it dollar f dollar 3 now this will result in absolute addressing formally it was relative addressing and that's why the relative addresses are coming and there was no value on those fields but now d3 will remain as relative but f3 will remain as absolute and now you can see the changes just press enter select it and drag it now you can see the grace being added to all the students and now you can process this final marks list as per your convenience thank you so much for watching